Hello everyone, so this is another Figma quick tip and here I'm going to show you how to make your components more scalable. So as you can see here, I have a couple of buttons and it's variants uh, for different states. And what happens if I want to change the styling of this button? Let's say I want to make this into a fill button. I have to change here, let's say 24. And now as you can see, only this button has changed and all the others keep the same style. So how can I do to make it work as one? So let's see an example here. I have these three elements here, a leading icon, trailing icon, and a label. I'll select them. So let me first add them, add a few. Change the spacing. And add some corner radius to it. So now what I'll do is to call it base button. Okay, now I want to make this into a component. So let's right click here and come create component. And what I'll do now is to make a, an instance of it by duplicating it. I'll customize it to look according to my primary button. So I won't need these icons here for this version of the button so I can delete them. Let's remember that this is an instance of my base button. So make it blue. Okay, so now what I'll do is select this instance and once again, I'll make this into a component. Create component. What I have here is my primary button. And it has inside of it the base button. So as you can see here, I have it nested, the base button inside my primary button. So now let me start adding the variants. Now, although they look exactly the same, let's see what happens when I change these parameters of this base button here. So let's make into a few buttons. So I have the corner radius 24, which is half the height, 48, and hit enter. And now, as you can see, all these buttons here change accordingly to this one. That happens because they have inside of them nested the base button. And that works for all the properties as well. So let's, see, let's say that I want to change the label. So instead of 14, I want to make it 16 pixels. So as you can see, the buttons change accordingly as well. This will make your components much more scalable and consistent, and that works for other components as well, not only for buttons. And that's it for this quick tip. I really hope it helps you. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.